You might have heard that the CFA Charter is the best finance qualification around, and that's probably right. But why is that? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down six benefits of the CFA Charter. Some you'll expect, others you won't, but this is my honest view on the benefits, not just a cliched list. So let's dive into them. If you're new here, I'm Harris, an investment banker and CFA charter holder who studied at Imperial College London. So let's start with knowledge and skills. The CFA charter is probably the most comprehensive and complete financial qualification there is. You'll cover almost every corner of finance, which gives you an incredibly strong foundation and makes you very versatile. More on this later. Topics wise, you'll study quantitative methods, which will train you in financial mathematics and logic, financial statement analysis, which is needed for almost any finance job, particularly analyst roles, and is very important for financial modeling. Economics, where you'll study supply and demand, macro level policy, and so on, which is very relevant to everyday life and is particularly important for business. Corporate finance, where you look at things from the inside of a business, which is particularly useful if you want to work in senior management or you want to be an entrepreneur. Asset classes, including fixed income, equity, real estate, and so on. You need to know what assets to invest in. Risk management, including derivatives, which are super interesting and in themselves can be a form of investment and portfolio management where you bring everything together to manage the risk and returns of your investments. So that's just a quick summary. The CFA Charter is super comprehensive and if you study it properly, you can do almost anything you want in finance afterwards. Now, of course, you could learn this on the job, but it will take forever and you're unlikely to get the same breadth that you get through the CFA Charter. And this is kind of the same logic as courses. People say the information is out there. So you can go find it yourself, so why pay for a course? But the reality is it's very dispersed. It will take you a lot longer. So the CFA Charter brings together almost everything in finance into one rigorous program, and then you can choose how to apply it. Generally, breadth is valuable early in your career, so it's worth getting a broad understanding and then choosing your area of specialism, and the CFA Charter can help with that. One final point, completing the CFA Charter will also massively benefit you in your personal life. I can't even begin to explain how much better my grasp of personal finance and investments and how much my general attitude towards my career, business, and life in general has improved since I did the CFA Charter. It will transform who you are as a person and that's one of the big intangible benefits associated with doing it. Now real quick, the CFA exams are highly time pressured and if you want to pass them, you need to master the CFA calculator. But most people don't know where to start. So I've put together a free guide with everything you need to answer questions quickly and accurately in the exam, saving you time and increasing your chances of success. It's totally free, check out the link in the description. Okay, let's move on to the second benefit, which is discipline. The CFA is bloody hard, not necessarily conceptually, although it is difficult in places, but more so because of how disciplined and efficient you have to be to complete all three levels whilst working. Before I started the CFA, I generally wasted so much time and I wasn't even aware of it. So doing things like scrolling social media, getting up late, you know the drill. All of that changed during my studies because it had to. Every hour now mattered and every hour wasted pulled me further away from my goals. So I cut so much BS from my life and focused on what mattered and became more disciplined, organized, efficient and resilient, all of which are superpowers. Eventually I became a machine. Now you can argue whether that's healthy and some of you may prefer a slower paced, chill approach to life, which is fine, but the CFA is probably not right for you. But if you want to get a lot done and done well, completing the CFA charter will level you up differently. For me, the CFA may be done, but I'm not. I'm able to now balance a demanding job in investment banking, this YouTube channel, a baby, staying fit, etc. All because the CFA taught me how to balance multiple priorities and importantly made me incredibly disciplined and resilient. Before I move on, there's lots of information out there about the CFA and many prep providers that teach the content. But despite that, more than 50% of people fail at each level and for one main reason, time. Completing the CFA charter is hard because it takes a lot of time. There's three levels to do, each with a vast curriculum, all whilst working full time, which is brutal. If you don't have an effective strategy, you'll waste hundreds of hours and potentially thousands of dollars on resets. Now, you could go through the pain of developing your own strategy, but this is risky and there's no guarantee you'll succeed, especially if you come from a non-finance background. Or you could let me help you. My Smash the CFA program condenses more than four years of CFA and careers experience into just a few hours and will save you time and money whilst increasing your chances of success. There's time and money that you can spend on things that really matter like hobbies, holidays, and family. And when you succeed a six figure salary, access to top tier finance roles and an exclusive network are just some of the benefits you could enjoy. So in this program, you'll get my complete CFA studying masterclass that got me first time passes and 90th percentile scores. But I want to make this program as valuable as possible. So I'm throwing in a bunch of incredible bonuses for free including an onboarding call with me to understand your needs, which is worth $50, exclusive discounts on study materials, which will save you more than $450, career tips to help you leverage the charter and land your dream job worth $49, and access to a private Slack channel where you can chat in real time with me and other students so you can ask questions and importantly, 
build a network, which is priceless. All in all, that's more than $850 of value and it gets better. Early birds save 50%, but that's limited to 50 students only, so you'll need to be fast. And after all of that, if you take the program and you're not happy, I'll refund you 100% of your money, no questions asked. It's literally a no brainer. Your savings on the study materials alone will cover the cost of the program. You'll get tons of value and it's a fraction of what you could earn as a CFA chart holder. So don't miss out. Find out more and join the waiting list below. Okay, the next benefit is cost-effective education. Now, this one might surprise you because the CFA seems expensive, but it's actually excellent value and the reward to cost ratio is very high, at least financially. You probably spend around five to $8,000 on registration fees and study materials across the three levels, which, as I said, seems expensive, but it's a fraction of the cost of a master's, which is typically 10K plus, definitely a fraction of the cost of an MBA, which can easily be north of $100,000 and is only really valuable from a top tier school. And importantly, it's a fraction of what you could earn as a CFA charter holder. More on this later. Unlike an MBA, the CFA charter also allows you to carry on working whilst you're studying, which means you don't lose out on the earnings, albeit it is difficult to balance. I also think the CFA charter is more of a pure play finance qualification than an MBA, which is more of a business and networking play. So the CFA charter is more interesting if you're into finance. Now I can do a deep dive on the CFA versus an MBA in a separate video. If you're interested, drop a comment below. But the bottom line here is the CFA is actually excellent value. The next benefit is career prospects. Now you might have expected this earlier in the video, but I think this more accurately represents the order in which you experience the benefits. I, the charter is about what you learn and then it translates into the rest of this list. Nonetheless, the CFA is recognized worldwide as a leading finance qualification, which does mean global job opportunities. The letters themselves are also a clear signal of your commitment and quality, so they will help your CV stand out and increase your chance of landing an interview. Obviously, it's then on you to perform in the interview and convince the employer that you're the right person. But in this hyper-competitive world, Getting your foot in the door can often be the hardest part and the CFA definitely helps with this. Also, it's not just about what you learn whilst you're studying the charter. Once you complete it and become a member, the CFA Institute also provides continuous learning opportunities, including webinars, seminars, conferences, access to research and refreshers from the curriculum itself. The truth is if you don't use it, you lose it. So the CFAI is committed to keeping you qualified and employable. One thing I want to quickly touch on is AI risk. So some people say, What's the point of doing the CFA or any other qualification because AI is going to replace you anyway? That's not true. First of all, the CFA charter is very applied. So, so far at least, AI has been unable to pass the exams and that demonstrates the depth of understanding required to pass them. Secondly, there's a host of other benefits you get from completing the charter, which is the point of this video. But essentially, your blend of technical and soft skills and how you apply them is where the true value lies. Finally, AI is a tool, not a replacement. So we have an AI tool at work, but its entire job is to make our life easier. So that includes things like summarizing information, helping us build tables and charts. A job in finance is much more nuanced than that. So don't worry about AI. The next benefit is networking. And this is definitely one of the big advantages of the CFA. Something that people really struggle with is connecting with other like-minded people. The CFA facilitates exactly that. So once you pass, you join an exclusive club, you get access to a global network of professionals and you can connect with them via social events, conferences and so on. It also helps with cold outreach, such as connecting with people via LinkedIn. So people will either contact you or they'll respond to you because of those three letters, which definitely makes building a network easier. Just a quick note to say, if you like this kind of content and you find it valuable, consider hitting like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see anything else, leave a comment below. And the final benefit is more money. Now you probably expected this earlier on the list. And the truth is, over the long run, you more than likely will earn more money as a CFA chart holder. Now, this is not guaranteed. It depends on the size and strategy of your employer, economic conditions, and most importantly, your performance. Generally, you earn more because you're better at your job, not because of the three letters. But the data does suggest that CFA chart holders do earn more than their peers. This chart from Analyst Prep shows the sort of raise you can expect across different roles, with the average being around 20%. 20% compounded over 30 years is a lot of money, so the CFA charter can clearly increase your earning potential. There you have it, six benefits of the CFA charter. If you like this video, then you're going to love these two on the screen. And otherwise, thanks for your time and see you in the next video.